everyone this is I, dr amit kumar pandey from avs engineering college i am going to discuss the topic process scheduling concept and performance criteria so let us see one by one what is inside okay so uh, contents are introduction to process scheduling objective of process scheduling types of scheduling scheduling criteria performance criteria and scheduling algorithm overview and conclusion So definition process scheduling is a method by which an operating system decides which process run at any given time. Means there are number of processes inside the system, so we uh, should have a mechanism uh, that can uh, manage all the processes uh, so that all the processes get executed uh, within the time limit or there uh, uh, should not be any uh, fault like deadlock or starvation. You know? Yes, sir. So what is the importance of process scheduling? Efficient scheduling improves system performance and responsiveness. And other terms which can be considered, these are very important, maximize CPU utilization. So we have scheduling algorithms such that they can max, uh, maximize uh, utilize the CPU. So that CPU cannot sit idle uh, for a while then maximum throughput means uh, in a particular time unit, how many number of process get executed by the CPU. Then minimum turnaround time means process have to wait uh, for a uh, very little time or no waiting. And uh, meanwhile, uh, this is not uh, go for waiting uh, unintentionally. Means the overall time the process is spent inside the uh, system should be minimum. So it should be maximum. Minimize waiting time. There should not be waiting time for any process. I think this is the ideal condition, but if there is waiting time, so it should be minimal. And minimize the response time. Response time uh, means uh, when the, the first time the CPU introduced and the process or the first time uh, process get the CPU. Long-term scheduling determines which programs are admitted to the system for processing. Uh, this is basically done by the long-term scheduler, uh, which take a process from new state to running state, sorry, new to ready state. Short term scheduling, uh, it is done by a uh, short term scheduler which decide which of the ready process will be executed next. Means there are number of process in ready queue. Then STS, short term scheduler decide which process among all those process which are inside ready queue it's faced and transferred to the CPU for execution. Midterm scheduler involved swapping the process in and out of memory. Okay. When uh, a process want to uh, do its IO operation, its IO operation and we will transfer the system, we transfer the process from a running page to waiting page, then this is done by the midterm scheduler, MPS. CPU utilization, again throughput, uh, means uh, CPU utilization should be maximum. We always want then CPU will not sit idle for a single unit time. So CPU utilization should be maximum. So what means per unit time, the number of processes that are executing should be maximum. The maximum the process executing in unit time, the maximum the system have to have the throughput. Throughput. Turnaround time. Time for submission to completion of a process when a process enters the system and when the process 
terminate after execution all the time meanwhile is considered as turn around time waiting time the process wait for its execution wait for its execution or wait for cpu wait for cpu it will uh, it will more, more clear when we will see life cycle diagram then response time the time from submission of a request until the first response is produced this is the response time cpu utilization as discussed earlier should be maximum or high so both should be maximum or high turn around time should be minimum waiting time should be minimum response time should be minimum here are the references which i have used in my ppt thank you all thank you for being with me Thank you.